Hello YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. Reacting to the HSR 2.3 live stream. It's gonna be sick. Farewell, Pelacony. Yeah, it's been a nice journey, but now it's coming to an end. So yeah, let's see what they cooked up here. 10 seconds. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, oh, my PC is decent. Oh yeah, bro, this is the beach All episode. If it's not the beach the episode, I swear. Repishage, which is now in its fourth round. Ways of remaining competitors are still vying for their shot of victory. Leaving aside Duke Inferno's fiery yes. demise, the family would like to reassure everyone that no contestants have come to harm. <laughs> That's still the case, right? <clears throat> or now. With the crisis dispelled, only flowers, glory, and rapturous applause await. <laughs> Not to mention a pool party. <laughs> Miss Acheron, didn't we all agree to a glass of wine? Okay, I see. Yes. <laughs> That's not a swimsuit. Or is it like the heck up? Is that what we agreed? Dad, but you, me, Albert. Can I borrow you? I'm dead. <laughs> Madam J. So Wait, she's here. Yeah, she was here. here. <laughs> the corporation is planning to increase the special program budget. Here, it's all in the agreement. I'm dead. <laughs> thank you, Miss Jade. And thank you, RPC. Where do I sign? Pleasure doing business. <laughs> <laughs> I don't keep talking. Uh, Miss Firefly, hey, hey, can you do the transformation thingy? You know what I'm talking about. Ah, now's the perfect time. Okay, it's just there's a lot of people around. No problem. Oh, she does turn naked, so goes wrong, a second. Just blame your good buddy Albert. Mm, in that case, check out the newest upgrade. I shall set the seas ablaze! And also keep. Oh my god, it's trailer time? Yes! To me, hiding is much easier than being honest. Yet, I still want to try expressing my emotions as any ordinary person would. Forgotten someone, my gray haired friend? I put a bomb on this ship. You have 10 minutes to find it. Oh, we're going to cruise. This part of it looks like he's getting involved. Initiate cleanup. Uh, he fixes so cool. He is the. Uh. Yes, man, yes. The big Always robot. Remember, don't leave with any regrets. Oh, is that what she's gonna do her so friend now. to death? Best part. Do you understand what you must give up, Miss Sam? Cut the angles, man. Even they ain't playing. Bro, she can't look at anything. Oh, fuck me. I'm more than capable of keeping you on a tight leash. <laughs> no backing up now. I'm dead. For me, or for you. Holy fuck, I'm coming so much is crazy. It's isn't over yet. It's been a while in Galena. I propose a toast. Wait, the Since Yuri is canon? To the future of Kenakoni and the universe. Bro, someone's dying. Can I interpret this as the next phase of the simulated universe? Corruption. Huh? It's a new subject matter that Dr. Ratio and I have personally agreed on. Wait, Pinaconi just sim uni? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Here's the code. I wrote in Chazo. Wow. The chick is so hot. Oh my god. 
I don't know, but yesterday was the and I was in jail. Oh my god, there's too many hot women, bro. I can't fucking handle it. It's crazy. My god. And Gina Topaz, like, oh my. But they know what they're doing, man. It's crazy. They, now, these devs are actually listening. Ooh, and whether or not your world has a day night cycle. Good morning, good afternoon. <laughs> And good evening. I'm Albert, On key your start, right friendliest on. feathered announcer. Welcome to the version 2.3 Farewell Pentagon. Bro, this, this patch is gonna get, program. it's gonna be good. For today's program, we have with us a Galaxy Ranger, as well as a Stellaron Hunter. Not to mention... Why are we still querying Akira's Galaxy Ranger? Like, surely. Investment department, Madam Jade. Madam. <laughs> That's me. Thank you for the invite. It's a pleasure to be here for the version 2.3 special program. You can call me Acheron. So, what exactly is this newest upgrade you were all talking about? <laughs> I just showed everyone. Yeah, clueless as always. Hi, Trailblazers. Firefly here. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Miss Firefly. Now, before we go any further, we agreed to a pool party. How come I'm the only one that showed up in a swimsuit? <laughs> <laughs> wow, they actually commented. We thought you were joking. Yeah. After all, this show never previously had pool party levels of funding. Don't worry, Albert. Madam Jade's investment is on the way. Next time for sure. <sighs> Next anyway, time for sure, yeah. <laughs> take a look around, you guys. Bro, We're Albert. Coming to you live from the uh, sky here he was the main source. That's crazy. In well, I mean, so do I. He knows what's up. But they, they, they know what's up. Airship. Quite a luxurious setting. What's the occasion? Oh, no occasion needed, Miss Acheron. I just wanted to give everyone a taste of Pentecost. Right. Sorry, I have to go. How are we going to go from Sunday and Robin, like, dying, basically, to you? Like, One Amber Era ago. <laughs> Odeal Luxurious Falfa, cruise ship. Falfa family head, invested a large sum in constructing the radiant Feldspar airship. Aside from the opulent parlor, ballroom, and recreation facilities, one could simply relax at the poolside with a few glasses of Soul Glad. <laughs> this grand airship has sailed above Penacony's Sea of Dreams for an entire Amber era. Suspending services only recently, in the wake of the crisis. The Trailblazers have yet to claim responsibility for this matter. In case you know, I'm not so. Aware, the Radiant Failed Spa never opens to the public. Like Jay's oh, casual voice is kind of sounds mid. I like it when she was like serious. I like it. Views of like with adventure and stuff. You mean to say that after three whole versions? The Trailblazers might finally be able to take a vacation? <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Trailblazers' Hell recent no. battle against the Order called what? Great Okay, people thought we were going to the Giants, but like... Correct. How the is gonna end? festival was forced to terminate. One can well imagine the damage to public opinion. The family's reputation must be built anew, and the public okay. must be reassured. There are many delicate issues which urgently need addressing. Aside from the Oak family, the major lineages are preparing their responses to help deal with the aftermath. In the version 2.3 Trailblaze mission, the Express crew will be invited aboard the Radiant Feldspar as witnesses to important family discussions. But if the factors that disrupted the dreamscape have been resolved, what other assistance is required? The, mm, the Order stepped all over the Harmony Surf. You can't deal with stuff like that out in the open. The family came up with an idea. Fix the Radiant Feldspar as the Charmony Festival's location while simultaneously announcing the reopening of the airship. A pity none of this razzle-dazzle can fool the IPC. During the Grand Theater final battle, Aventurine may have been digging up dirt on the family in Dreamflux Reef. I'll need to take care of a few things during my visit to Penacony. Huh? Is the IPC about to make a claim on Penacony? Never say never with the gosh dang IPC. Oh, for the Amber Lord, baby. <laughs> huh. 
Reading between the lines, it seems like these discussions concern the future of Panacone. They do. But a quick refresher. Anyone remember a certain mass fool issuing mutually assured destruction buttons to the residents of Panacone? I remember. Sparkle sent out gifts in each one of the past three versions. Surely she... <laughs> Would pushing the button really cause Penacone to explode? I have my doubts. Only one way to find out. Whoa! Oh, whoa, Everyone whoa, take whoa. a deep breath, wait, okay? Should wait for a story at least. <laughs> you guys have been spending too much time with and a certain where she have a blonde hair she... director. I'm not putting the bell if you blow up the radiant bell spa. Anyway. <gasps> Let's leave these mysteries for the trailers to explore again. Huh? It's time we got back to the Charming Festival, baby. Who might the yeah, so Zorobin is still gonna be? sing. I'm guessing for the harmony and stuff. <sighs> Just when they're Definitely about to like get the interesting, <clears throat> Albert hands things over to the Trailblazers again. Family business is family business, and we've got a show to do. Even if the next young lady needs no introduction. Right, they really made her our wife, that's crazy. Fucking robot is the wife, that's crazy. Firefly is a member of the Stellaron Hunters and hails from Glamoth, a world that was destroyed long ago. Glamoth? Yep. The same Glamoth from the Firmament Frontline Glamoth Relic set? I remember the planar ornament description had a story about Glamoth's Iron Cavalry Regiment. Yes! Glamoth was once a rich and powerful empire with a vast territory. After the swarm invaded, everything was destroyed. Resisting the swarm called for the creation of Glamoth's Iron Cavalry. They were genetically modified soldiers, weapons that existed only to wage war. They piloted mechs to contain the swarm. I met many of those heroes and bade farewell to many. Hmm. Okay. What uh, stood out to me. A nice pool party, I guess. Full name is actually Firefly Type Four Strategic Assault Mech, meaning that out there, between the distant celestial bodies, there could be other Sands. <laughs> Ooh, imagine that. Good thinking, Madam Jade. Perhaps the answer to that question. Wait, but surely they don't. They won't look the same. Myriad Celestia and. Animated short. Firefly has to be fine. <laughs> oh. Count me in. Same. I was wondering, is it really you talking when Sam says something, Firefly? Mm-hmm. I actually spend a lot of time practicing my Sam lines. Let me guess. Silverwolf came up with the lines, Blade came up with the movements, and Kafka put them together. Huh? That sounds a little too professional for us. Yeah, well, speaking of professional, I think it's time we took a look at what this young lady can do in her combat mech. I'm a fire type character following the path of destruction. Crazy. When using my technique during exploration, I summon my Sam armor. Sam can leap into the air. After landing, Sam attacks all enemies within a set range. Quite the heroic entry. After using technique to enter battle, for every wave of enemies, weaknesses can be inflicted on units without fire weakness, which lasts for a set number of turns. In battle, huh? Sam has two forms. In the initial form, using skill consumes HP, while simultaneously regenerating ultimate energy. The lower okay. the HP, the less damage sustained. Hmm. Oh, it's like that. Are all okay. stellar it's like pretty basic stuff. So. Careless with their lives? <laughs> When using ultimate, Sam enters the second battle form, the dazzling complete combustion state. In addition to more powerful basic attacks and skills, speed is also increased. He has swords. When using enhanced abilities, God. Sam's weakness break efficiency and weakness break damage sustained by enemies both increase. Sam restores HP with each attack. So, uh, so the complete like, combustion state I allows see. us to get a glimpse of Firefly's view from the mech. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's a determined gaze if I ever saw one. Enough to set the I mean, stage of um... play as I'll wager. 
That's so awesome! <laughs> I wanna set the seas ablaze! <laughs> Thanks! The complete combustion Thanks. state's enhanced <clears throat> skill not only allows for increased toughness reduction, it can also inflict fire weakness on target enemies! The flames that Sam emits when breaking the enemy's weakness are quite spectacular. And is that a countdown icon on the action bar? That's right! When the countdown is up, Sam will exit the complete combustion mm. state. It seems Makes like sense. the effects of Firefly's abilities all relate to weakness break. I suppose Crazy. it would make most yeah, sense we'll to have to do <clears throat> or something. allies who have weakness break efficiency buffs. Or even super break? Mm-hmm. That's right. For example, the Harmony Trailblazer. Mm. Oh. <laughs> What a wonderful coincidence! In version 2.2, the Trailblazer inherited the Watchmaker's legacy and embarked on the brand new Path of Harmony. <laughs> the spirit of Trailblazing, traversing unprecedented distances to go where none have gone before. But that's what it's all about. Bringing the will of the Trailblaze to more and more people. And on that note, I've got some good news for y'all. After activating the Harmony Trailblazer following the version 2.3 update, mm. Trailblazers can obtain a Shadow of Harmony through the When Charmony Rings Out event screen, thereby upgrading the Trailblazer's oh. Eidolon level. And if I haven't had time to experience Penacony yet? Don't worry. After locking the Path of Preservation, Trailblazers yet to complete the version 2.2 Trailblaze mission can activate the Path of Harmony early through the when Charmity rings out event screen. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty cool, I actually. I hope the will of the trailblaze reaches like... everyone on this journey. Well, see. Really? Now, without further ado, I feel like they should reach Penacony to unlock. A certain highly respected IPC director. I mean, I guess in Genshin is not like that. In Genshin, you can just go there and Enter unlock it, right? Madam so, okay. Shade. I'm looking. <laughs> Ain't no way with the lipstick. <laughs> That's insane. The is Jade like this the close to be like IBC's a oh my god. Investment department. Before they were wearing something better. <laughs> She is as beautiful as she is elegant. You know what I'm saying? And the upcoming Radiant Fellspar discussions are an opportunity for her to showcase her true skills. In contrast with Topaz's negotiation abilities and Aventurine's daredevil spirit, I prefer to operate behind the scenes, using emergency measures to reap a full harvest when the opportunity arises. It feels like making a deal with Jade is a risky proposition. If you ever let your guard down even a little bit, you'll never escape her trap, no matter how hard you struggle. I think the term you're looking for is... <laughs> Why is blood wearing glasses? Sunglasses. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Mm-hmm. And Jade also has a hobby by the name of Bana Jade Exchange. A pawn shop, essentially. Though it kind of sounds like a fine dining experience. With... You on the menu. One swish of the contract and the customer is eight billion credits out of pocket. <laughs> Watch your step, Trailblazers. Crazy. Jade's goal always aligns with her own interests. She plays the long game, wetting her customer's appetite while extracting a suitable price. She first draws her customers into a vortex of desire, then bounces where they're most valuable. Leaving nothing but an empty shell of despair. Why is everyone staring at me? Albert? Didn't you just sign an agreement with Jade over the special program budget? Hmm. Wait, what? I... Hold on a second. Oh. Oh. Uh, so. No, come back. What exactly happens to people who sign agreements with Jade? Patience, patience. Why don't we let the combat do the talking? As a quantum type character following the path of erudition, my basic attack deals blast damage to a single enemy. We made it. Adjacent basic attack does blast damage. 
A blast we damage made it. dealing basic attack? Exactly that. We're in the late game, boys. My skill, on the other hand, allows me to sign an agreement with a single ally, thereby granting them enhancement and speed boost buffs. When the Saini attacks the enemy, they oh. can deal additional damage, but at the expense of consuming their own HP. Enhancement in exchange oh. for HP. <laughs> Is that what people mean by bestowing poison in the guise of sweet dew? Interesting. <laughs> now, of course, if I choose myself as the signee, the speed boost and HP consumption effects do not apply. When I or a signee launch an attack, it accumulates charges for me. When charges are full, a follow-up attack is launched. Okay, makes sense. The IPCs sure enjoy a follow-up attack. Hmm. It seems that the Strategic Investment Department has its own modus operandi. My ultimate, on the other hand, allows me to mete out punishment in accordance with the agreement. In addition to <coughs> dealing damage to all enemies... She has her leg that, like that for a little bit too long, you know what I'm saying? Cut. If there's a place that's closest to a dream, then are the punish destined for the place that's furthest from it? Like... An abyss? <laughs> you don't think those places might be one and the same? When using my technique during exploration, <laughs> enemies within a set range enter the blind fealty state and will refrain from attacking me. After attacking an enemy inflicted with blind fealty, okay. other enemies in the state will enter the battle, with all enemies sustaining damage. Just a single sheet of paper. <laughs> Signing away control of your life you know what? is all too easy. Doesn't seem that crazy. <gasps> or am I bugging? Poor Owlbert. The numbers must be like big. He though. might be doing Jade and the IPC's bidding for a few decades more than anticipated. Wakey wakey. I don't take kindly to procrastination during working hours. <laughs> How are you feeling, Albert? You won't be retiring anytime soon. But then, neither will your program. Silver Ooh. linings! <laughs> Why do I still feel like I'm working for nothing? I can't wait for 2030 and like 10.0 to come up. With that question. Why don't we talk about the version 2.3 banner instead? Ooh, great idea! And version 2.3's first half will prevent Trailblazers can acquire limited five Those are really good four stars. As well as I don't have any of them at E6. Cool. In addition, the drop rates for the limited five star light cone, whereabouts should dreams rest, as well as the limited light cone pass up and mirror. Well, of course, memories of the past is on the <laughs> light cone banner. Uh, Firefly. Ugh, but those other two light cones, I don't need them. Beyond the cold confines of her But I need one more memory of the past, man. To get the one turn ulti with the run mate. In the midst of a dark forest. Meanwhile, in 2.3's second half Yikes. of the game, can acquire the limited five-star character Jade Those and the four our stars. resident Knight of Beauty, Hot will also be joining the lineup. I in better addition, get light the drop cones. rates for the limited five-star light cone, yet hope is priceless I caught a light as well cone as the light cone, I'm and looking. instant before gaze will be boosted. <laughs> So, even the fiercest of executives has a gentle side. Who isn't moved by the laughter of children? My heart isn't actually made of stone, you know. And yeah, finally, Jade. the brand new four star light cone after the Charmony Fall will also be Jade. Oh, addition. Okay. I this better be good. Because their addition light right cones are kind of meh right now. Uh, I think we all four star ones. But no good anywhere, Trailblazers. After the break, we'll be talking 2.3 events. God. Jade is hitting differently. I'm not gonna lie. Just like the way she looks, though. Her kit seems kind of basic. Like, nothing crazy. There's a, she's like a buffer. I wonder how much speed she gives. Why she is like 20 or something? That would be crazy.
Welcome okay, back, dear viewers. Let's duck right into version 2.3's brand new events. First up, a significant update to the simulated universe. Yeah, so exciting! Did Mr. Screwlum and Dr. Ratio devise a new project? You guessed it! Led by Mr. Screwlum, Divergent Universe, the human comedy, is a brand new project path. Up until now, the aim of the simulated universe has been to research the stories of the eons. I'm assuming that the human comedy has more of a human focus? Bingo! That's the main research thrust of this phase of the simulated universe. Looks like this project will be conducted on the Radiant Feldspar. Mingo number two, let me tell you a little more about it. First off, a groundbreaking update to the Divergent Universe, the arithmetic mapping function. Holy In the Divergent Universe, troll bridges can switch between characters they already possess. Oh, that's cool. Huh. So they can create their own lineups? Precisely. When testing the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers will no longer be limited by character downloads. When character level is lower than the current equilibrium level cap, it will automatically increase to meet the cap. Meaning, if one of my characters is That's level really one, good for like new people. But I use them in the Divergent Universe. It increases to a set level? You got it. So handy. But what if a character has the level, but no suitable relics or light cones? <laughs> We're not. Relics. In that situation, temporary light cones and relics at the current equilibrium level cap will be automatically assigned. I like when things are automatic. Ain't it great? <laughs> now we must know about Dr. Ratio's new brainwave. Equation. A buff combination of two different paths. Before the start of every test, okay. trailblazers have the opportunity to select a random equation. I'm not going to waste my life on this game mode. Effect, you'll need different amounts of path blessings. Okay, yeah. Once the required amount has been achieved, the Wait, equation... Wait, isn't this kind of like modern waves? And the elusive the team route. can obtain the corresponding combat abilities. Equation has a max of three stars. I see. Okay. So, the higher an equation's star level, the more blessings are needed to activate God. it. You nailed it. I wonder if this speed things up. <laughs> the the geniuses have hard. kindly marked the required path blessings for each equation in Trailblazer's possession. Mm. Knowing which blessings can activate an equation is easy as pie. Yep. I mean, so consider it. Like it's hard if anyway. If you're ever struggling to choose, just follow the mark. Adapting your choices to suit your equation allows you to cater the effects to your current team. That's brain that that's mm. fucked up. It that's works sick. both ways. I like that. You could adjust your team's composition to better suit your current equation. I want to see trailblazers mix it and match it. So, if I accidentally chose an unsuitable blessing, or if I want to switch my current equation, can I make a change? Of course! By visiting the workbench <laughs> of creation, trailblazers can overwrite their existing equation and switch it out for another. Okay. Unwanted blessings can also be switched out for other blessings, or <laughs> even enhanced. Huh? Has the Curio store added more purchasable items? Oh, am I hallucinating? Did Madame Herta really lower the prices? Yeah, they cost less. The Curio system has been upgraded. In addition to normal Curios, Trailblazers can also choose from weighted Curios. These curios are more suited to characters of specific paths or types and really elevate the combat experience. Keep your eyes peeled, Trailblazers. Separately, we should also Morning. take a look at the wealth and escapade domains of the Divergent Universe. Trailblazers can win different Gambling. prizes in these domains by spinning yes. cosmic fragments. But beware, in the event of a program error, your cosmic fragments could be wasted or even land you with negative curios. Sometimes the same starting point can lead to very different outcomes. Luck is an important component. It sure is. Now, allow me to introduce an impressive optimization that left a big impression on your buddy Albert. When suffering okay. defeat in the simulated universe, Trailblazers no longer need to force stop the game. Divergent Universe Combat now allows for restart challenge, and Trailblazers can select a new lineup. Oh, I've always wanted that function. 
after completing each test in the Divergent Universe, what the like, what's the point? Can acquire oh my god. Then you can win every single run, like god. Allowing them to activate the buff nodes and inspiration circuits. Testing the simulated oh, well, universe lot. just got a little bit easier. Thanks for all the info, Albert. I cannot wait. It's just... Didn't you forget something important? What about the planar ornaments? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> the planar ornament extraction function has arrived. Every time Trailblazers clear the Divergent Universe, they can choose to save a record of that challenge and archive the data of the equation, blessings, and curios in question. Choose the planar ornaments you want, use the archive, inherit the data and buffs from the archive, challenge the boss enemy, and obtain immersion rewards. Huh? Okay, you mean makes sense, yeah. You can skip ahead? You just need you to, have to fight the boss. the boss to get yeah. quick access to the planar ornaments? Are we sure this isn't some cracked version of the simulated universe that Silverwolf put out there? Crack. Keep it down! The last person to doubt the Genie Society lost 76 accounts. A brand new simulated universe. <laughs> Sounds so worth a the try. Old one, though. Amen to that. <laughs> now, in version 2.3, the Divergent Universe will be adding two new planar ornaments. Duran, Dynasty of Running Wolves, and Forge of the Kalpagni Lantern. Make sure to use the new planar ornament extraction function to get a hold of them. <laughs> After experiencing ordinary extrapolation, the diverging universe will have a weekly cyclical extrapolation objective. By completing this weekly challenge, Trailblazers can obtain a first-time completion reward, as well as additional synchronicity points. Not to mention, in order to celebrate the arrival of the Divergent Universe, Madam Herder has added the five-star Aerodition yes. Light Cone Eternal been waiting Calculus for this. to the store. Trailblazers who wish to redeem it better start reserving some Herder Bonds. It sounds oh, I like have the level save. of freedom in the Divergent Universe so, is really high. Faster access to clean so ornaments, the universe just gone. full choice of characters. Interesting. Those are some big gameplay improvements. Big improvements indeed. In the vastness of the universe, right, it's gonna be funny. Like a couple of patches in the future, people are not gonna remember simulated universe. To it's gonna be new balls, people that don't know what simulated universe was, how annoying back. it was. When yeah. gazing up at the stars, it's important to keep your feet how long it was. on the ground. The stories in Divergent Universe, the human comedy, may seem. I wonder if you can still find credits and relic but XP. That does not make them insignificant. Trailblazers, in this get world. exploring. Yes. I can't wait to experience those stories. It's a chance yeah, for us the to stories. find out more about yeah. ourselves. I look forward to the memories. Um, <laughs> any room for a non-human companion? <laughs> Aside from all of this, in Pentacone's Dreamscape sales store, a deal has been struck with a member of the mysterious Creed Exequi. They wish to seek traces of the shapeless prince in the experiences of your deadly struggles. Unlock the brand new permanent challenge mode, Apocalyptic Shadow, in Dream Flux Reef, and experience those past dreamscapes. Creed Exequi. Is this the first appearance of this faction of the finality? Not necessarily. A new permanent challenge mode? So, what's different? In Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers will challenge boss enemies that they have encountered in their journey. Every phase has two enemies, which are split into four levels of sick. challenge difficulty. The enemies in Apocalyptic Shadow are a little different than so the boss That's enemies. Crazy. In preparation for the fight, Trailblazers can read the enemy's traits at the start of the battle. As with other permanent game modes, during the challenge, there are buff effects for Trailblazers to choose from for every okay. boss. Make sure you maximize the advantages of your lineup. Defeating enemies through team adjustments, or by exploring different battle strategies, makes for a richer combat experience. I wonder how hard this is going to be. Trailblazers can record a maximum of three floors of three-star quick clearances. Mm -hmm. That's right. And after the first time clearance of Apocalyptic Shadows set difficulty, now Trump you're can talking. The four star character Shui Yi, as well as 300 stellar jades and self modeling resin. <laughs> nice. We're just getting warmed up. 
Let's take a look at the permanent game mode rotating schedule. The first phase of the Apocalyptic Shadow Challenge will launch on the day of the version 2.3 update and last for six weeks. Every version will rotationally update according to the following sequence. Apocalyptic Shadow, Pure Fiction, Forgotten Hall, just as before. On every other Monday, the permanent challenge stage is replaced. Related system functions have also been optimized. When entering the three permanent game mode screens from the Interastral Peace Handbook, aside from being able to see the challenge lineups of their friends, Trailblazers can also easily check the star level progress of their current challenge. On the permanent game mode preparation yeah. screen, sure. Trailblazers can use preset lineups to create their team, and even customize with drag and drop. How thoughtful. Mm -hmm. so close. Boy, They're so close. Let's do loadouts for relics. It takes an hour to work with relics, man. Oh my god. You might want to take another look at our agreement, Albert. <gasps> the maximum number of stellar jades awarded in each phase of the Forgotten Hall. Pure fiction and apocalyptic shadow permanent challenges is increasing from 720 to 800. And the That's crazy. increase will be funded through Galbert's salary? You. <sighs> 80 jades. It's like I said, making a deal with Jade is a risky proposition. <laughs> well then, following this <laughs> change... Trailblazers can now obtain a total of 2,400 Stellar Jades through the permanent challenges in each version. Then why do I hear quiet weeping? <laughs> I don't think Owlbird's seen the bright side. <laughs> Keep it together, Albert. Now. Mm. In Rock the operations are rough. Version, the yeah. four gummy birds also venture into the Radiant Felt Spa. Bring with them a little game. It's hoping Trailblazers can help to test it out. An arcade game? Huh? Let me give Silverwolf a call. These origami birds are very endearing. But why do I have a sense of deja vu? <laughs> this arcade game. <clears throat> Trailblazers need to cause elimination within a specified number oh of steps my in order God. to increase the bird's combat power. Before the end of every turn, corresponding damage is calculated according to the difference Not candy in combat crush. values. That's crazy. If your opponent's HP returns to zero, like my bank account, victory is sealed. This gameplay. Could it really be? The legendary. I never thought the day would come when I could play match three on a Pentaconian airship. Yeah, I thought they were actually going to like reference Candy Crush. In the Origami Bird Class uh. event, Trailblazers can also do battle freely with friends from across the universe. Yeah, I am surprised that they're can I fight Silver only using match free game of right now. Be they old buddies and they've been kind of crazy up until now. All can connect and play. Get tested. Mm. Great. The next event is called Stellar Shimmer. I'm back on the spaceship. Does that name ring any bells for anyone? Stellar. Stellar Flare. Is this the sequel? You're a sharp one, Miss Zacharon. Stellar Shimmer brings huh? with it lots of brand new challenge mechanisms and trial character lineups. Catering your team to suit the mechanisms is the key to victory. These mechanisms. Wait, the monkey's up to 88. What the fuck? Well, for example, in certain stages, breaking an enemy's weakness can grant you an extra action. In other stages, characters enjoy unlimited revivals and can regenerate 50% of their energy. Does that mean Trailblazers can try doing away with survivability units and focus purely on damage output lineups? Crazy. Mm -hmm. Defeat as many waves of enemies as possible in a set number of cycles to complete the challenge and obtain rewards. Whew. That's okay, it for events. Yeah. Time to take another breather. It's kind of like the Tides of War thing, right? More fascinating updates on version 2.3 are right around the corner. God.
Welcome back, viewers. First up, it's the return of a nail-biting and thrilling tradition. Gift, Gift of, of Odyssey. Odyssey. Check in for 10 yes. free warps. The usual. Wait, that would be well. Did There's they, like, also Dan 11 or something? Double events. Oh, Our good friends, okay. Planar Fisher Yay. and Realm of the Strange. Double planar ornaments and materials? What's not to love? Also in this version are the newly added cavern relics. Or break a super break DPS characters. The scourge, and Follow up attack damage and ultimate DPS balance. characters. Trailblazers can head for the Cavern of Corrosion, Path of Cavalier Challenge to obtain them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to go read that. New Path of Erudition trace material. They really sneak that in for one second. The brand new calyxes, rough sketch, dynamic outlining, and exquisite colored draft. For trailblazers okay, yeah. who wish to level up traces for me, these materials are indispensable. Is it? So many updates! Man, I can't wait for this version to drop! <sighs> and we're at the end of the version 2.3 special program. And it's about time we bade farewell to this white knight. Thanks again for everyone's support and viewership. I Thank eagerly you. Good await patch. the version 2.3 story. Want to Jade. The Panacone discussions make for smooth sailing. Please, Trailblazers, do support the work of the IPC. I'm looking forward to the brand new Divergent Universe, not to mention all those brilliant events. Don't forget to Bro, try my life them is out. Oh, um, that would be the Divergent Universe breakfast. for like 10 billion See hours. You in the next dream, Trailblazers. I'll be waiting for you at the usual spot. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Good job, once again. Rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it. Rip it. In this thing anyway. Rip it. That's it. That's it. I'm at it. What am I? A god? Talk to them. <laughs> they don't need to read our birds and names. They're too afraid to read out for themselves. Uh, and not to mention the bullying. All these years. Working my tail for this off for the RPC, and even the audience thinks I'm an intern! <laughs> and now, they're using my salary to fund the stellar change budget for the new events! Hell yeah. The audacity! <laughs> sure, he's pulling gang signs. That's crazy. You two, get out of here. Give me seven days of pay time off ASAP. Ha! Tell that to Sunday. Now listen up. The three years <laughs> are up. I quit. <laughs> if you didn't know already, I got an offer from the CN Joe to host the war dance. Albert's about to become a big time sports anchor. <laughs> yeah. You can get that on your knees and beg for all I care. It won't make any difference. What? <laughs> ah, you. Huh? <laughs> it's all IPC. To the most important event in the Zienjo calendar, the War Dance. The opening session is right around the corner. Here, you will witness members from all Zienjo delegations vying for supremacy in the Luminary Combat Arts Ceremony. First up, put your hands together for Nothing has to be in this. the Zienjo Yao Ching delegation. Yeah. Fierce and swift is Fei Xiao, the Merlin's claw. I'm dead. And by her side, <laughs> she's hot already. He doesn't drink plain soup and has no time for coriander. Uh, this guy too bad. Medicinal chef Zhao Cho. Ah, he's an elite healer. I see. Up next, yeah. he's cold and silent as a hunting Ooh. shadow. The crow feathered weirdo. An assassin. That's pretty cool. We don't really have an assassin character yet. And following close behind him is the Xianzhou Juming delegation. Okay. Strong and righteous is Huayan, 
the flaming heart. Okay, I can't really tell you. Sure. He strikes while the iron is hot and forges while the flames are bright. Interesting. It's one of the flames. I was gonna see them, but then I remembered she was like 14 or so. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> okay. And finally. The official host delegation has arrived. Let's hear it for the Cienjo Lao Fu. Come on. Please welcome. I wonder. Having suddenly returned home for the victory lap. She's hot. He's the new Alchemy Commission Cauldron Master. Cauldron Ling Master. Ling Sha. As well as an exceptionally gifted and legendary new sword master. Who shall remain anonymous for the time being. No wonder they needed me for this gig. So for the upcoming summer game fest today at 2 p.m. PT. Bro, Honka Star ain't playing. That's crazy. Well, there we have it, I suppose. Yeah, I can't wait. Firefly Jade, they all look sick. Oh my god. Game was like sick divergent universe. I'm gonna be stuck in that for like the next 10 years. Ah. Nice, some pretty nice mini games. The match free actually looks interesting that you can like match up with other people. That's pretty cool. Man. Wow. Well yeah, but that's about it. You know, if you enjoyed, let me know how much you're waiting for 2.3. Because I'm I can't wait. I'm excited. Um but yeah, that's about it. Because I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.